found myself drawn to, to, to the issue of homelessness um, initially because of questions I, I was asking myself that I, I didn't really have a good answer for and to do with my reaction to homeless people on the street or, or wherever and I found my, I caught myself as it were almost thinking of them as in some sort of separate class of human beings um, when, when I would see somebody panhandling on the street it was it, it, it was suddenly they they were in a separate category they were homeless folk and then a whole set of sort of preconceived ideas started to 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 occur and I caught myself was why am I assuming all this about this individual why am I assuming that they're probably an alcoholic or or a drug addict why am I assuming that they're they have mental problems why am I assuming that they they maybe don't want to work all these all these thoughts and I realized that I was kind of suffering from a, a lazy minded attitude to homeless people and to the homeless problem so I I really wanted to in many ways find the, the right answers to to to, ha to the question how does one respond to a homeless person how does one respond to homelessness now one of the real aims of the show is to is to get an intelligent uh, audience to really think differently about homelessness and, and homeless people to realize that you know so many of the cliches are untrue viewers of this show will get a real insight into the lives of these three young people and start to understand how homelessness can occur and we'll get an understanding of the the opportunities to to really engage and, and make a difference for for somebody who's unfortunately ended up in in that sad situation of not having a home and that also, I suppose the, 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 the thing that came through strongly to me, and I, I, I believe that this, the film really um, features this, is that it's the, it's the network of support, it's the community, it's the sense of, of belonging, of um, engagement with, with those around you that really is the, is the way to get out of homelessness. And, and it's the lack of that that often causes homelessness to occur. So that we all have a part to play in that and all can, can help. I mean, whether it's offering support, advice, job offers, money, whatever, we, we can all get involved on that level. You know, um, when we were planning the, uh, the soundtrack, we realized that I wasn't to be trusted because I was so tied up in other things and that they were going to need uh, music. Um, and I probably wasn't going to be around to, to, to create it. So I, I, I wrote the song No Home Like Place. No home like place. Very much inspired by the issue of homelessness and, and a, a particular character from Dublin who uh, was homeless and um, actually went into the river at Liffey to rescue a bus driver who'd driven his bus over the the railings and, and, and crashed the front of the into into the river so it was underwater. He and a, another passerby climbed down through the the, the bus and, and dragged him out and saved his life. Um, and he became kind of a, a, a famous character in, in Dublin as a result of, of this heroic act. Um, on the night that he he did it, I think he still had to go off in his soaking clothes and and, and find somewhere to, to sleep rough. So it kind of all, uh, threw up some very awkward questions for, for a lot of people in Dublin, for me as well. And, and um, so, so that was the inspiration for the song, No Home Like Place. And, but we, we were able to get through MTV um, a lot of instrumental mixes of music from, from other artists. And, and of course the, the wonderful song by Florence and the Machine, Leave My Body, which is as, as a, an immensely important part to play in, in one of the, the key scenes. Um, so we were very lucky in that regard to, 
to get permission to use this, this other music. I'm glad I didn't have to write it all because <laughs> there's no way, no way I could have. In this country, on any given night, there are over one and a half million young people without a home. We live a die. That's the rules of the streets. It's not what I wanted or expected out of my life. We all see them. Can you start a chain? But most of us don't know what to do to help, so we do nothing. Thanks anyway. No one is immune to the possibility of homelessness, but in the struggle to overcome it, I believe one person can truly make a difference in the life of another. Thank you. My name is Ann Malum. For the past five years, I've been leading an organization called Back on My Feet that uses running to help the homeless turn their lives around. Good job, guys. And six months ago, I accepted a challenge to try and help three young people who are alone in the world find a place to fit in. Keep hope alive. Today, you're going to interview with Human Rights First. Cool. In your darkest fears. I hope that along the way, you'll get a better understanding of how young people like Ava, Rob, and Nancy wind up living on the streets and see how hard it is to find a place you belong when you have no home. There are no quick fixes for homelessness, but you might be surprised at what can happen when someone who really needs it gets a break. I'm going to give you a chance. Thank you. No home like place.